the year 2000, when the world witnessed the birth of one of the first live simulation games. This was the game where everything was possible, where you were the true master of your character's destiny. The Sims. Some played it well, some not so much. Along with the game, a language was created, Simlish. And although the Sims weren't real, their voices were. Real humans were in charge of recording possibly the world's most famous fictional language. <laughs> humans, like Siri and Scott. So, so, swaving Rotex Simlish, way move. <laughs> Yabusa! Yabusa! If you ever find yourself in Redwood City at the Electronic Arts Headquarters, oh, nay, plot of us. keep an ear out for something that sounds like Overall. this. Kasama Office Bar! <laughs> That's Simlish, the fictional language for The Sims. All sorts of scenarios are recorded as the characters in the game are just like us. They get married. <laughs> Yibs! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, Lurvy, oh, the god! Let some go. <laughs> oh, oh Grafoiba! Gavin, no! <laughs> the language is universal and it's pretty much loved worldwide. The Sims was created in the late 1990s by Will Wright and it first hit the gaming shelves in the year 2000. The game had all sorts of players. We had the avid home decorators, some who couldn't wait to see the Grim Reaper and some just wanted to cheat. Activate Rosebud. Rosebud. You know who you are. Money! And behind all that action, there was a language that helped you play. You could understand it, but not quite speak it. Yeah, I played the game for <laughs> hundreds of hours, I think. <laughs> no one knows Simlish better than Claire Curtin, who was the audio director on the first version of The Sims. We knew that we wanted to just do one language sound uh, for the whole game that would work for the whole world. So we experimented with several languages, thinking that we could scramble them in some way so that they wouldn't be so recognizable and so repeatable. One of them was Navajo. Asa na kitra. And we also had some experimentation with Ukrainian. Один, два, три, чотири, п'ять. I think we also considered Estonian. Ux, Kax, Kolm, Neli. One of the reasons why it didn't really gel was that it still got written out. When you read, it's repetitive. Claire's team needed something that wouldn't bore players and that would feel universal. So they turned to improvisation. And it was effective. I mean, we all knew what this meant. <laughs> we would do um, 30 takes of two Sims having an interaction, and the actors would do it differently every single time. So every phrase was different from the one before it. At the time, only 10 to 15 words were set. And 20 years later, those words are still part of the game. For example. So, so. Yibs. Neeb. No me velk. Persegap lerv. You see like a couple of seconds of what this sim is doing. There's a uh, emotion behind it. There's a personality with it. You're feeling super shocked. And then you're feeling lots of pain. Wowza. Oh, gooby lava. It feels really yeah. freeing to record in Simlish or speaking Simlish because there's no ties to the meanings of words. So you could be as raw and emotional as you want. It's a great challenge and it's a lot of fun to to create something out of nothing in a way. Whoa! Oh, you're bleak, sir. Zuya. To flee. Uh, uh, to flutie. Uh, to flee. That's, that's how you die in Sim. Dish. It's not just a game that's popular in this city or in this culture or, I mean, it's a worldwide phenomenon. And I get emails and questions from people all over the world, sometimes in languages I don't even understand. And I just write back, go, sul sul, dag dag, ziba korbehe. We never knew that the game was going to take off the way it did. It's very gratifying that it worked. Zamboom. Zamboom, sharp enough. Flip up a Naza. Flip up a Naza. Flip up a Naza, Barsa K. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs>